Take your take. There's any one of three or four targets. Wood. Wood hits it across goal. Chance shakes first. He's hit it a wide. And he's been kicked in the face. The All Whites are livid. The All Whites are livid here. Shane Smeltz is bleeding profusely. You tell me there's no contact. This is crazy. Shane Smeltz has had his head opened up by a boot. And the officials do nothing. Well, I actually thought Wilowski was actually pointing to the spot. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy, isn't it? Well, they had a very good call for a penalty. It was Shane Smeltz in the opening minutes of the game. And now they've had one in the last minute of the game. And this is an awful decision by Srebrej Dolovsky. Surely his assistant was in a position down here to actually make a decision or... That is oh, awful. That's just... That's a disgrace, isn't it? Crazy, absolutely ludicrous decision there. Look at that. Well, aside from anything else, Harry, let's hope that Shane Smeltz is okay because he has caught a size 10 right across the forehead and, frankly, he's lucky there's no contact with the eyes. And that leaves New Zealand down to 10 players. They've used all their subs. Four minutes of time to be added on. In fact, they've got one left. I apologise. And Hogg will get out there. Shane Smeltz doesn't want to leave, but while he gets strapped up, he has to because Ian Hogg is on. So they can slow down with the work on the forehead of Shane Smeltz. That's the end of his match tonight. And what a controversial way to depart the game. And that's just silenced the crowd. They're a little stunned. I think they're a lot stunned, actually. Wood now for New Zealand. Switches play. Barbarossas, Rojas, flag is up. Play continues. And here comes New Caledonia. Bertos. Bertos will get a yellow card. Lolo Haya wants to carry on with it. And Leo Bertos has won all white right coming into this game that was not under the threat of suspension with another yellow card. And the crowd vent their frustration. Paston comes and collects. They've got numbers, New Zealand. So Paston says, chase it, boys. Wood, he wins it. Barbarossas, Barbarossas in front of goal. He's going to win it. Barbarossas blocks. What a chance.
Shane Smeltz. They should have had two penalties. They battered the woodwork. They survived a very good comeback from New Caledonia in the second half. But they've won at New Zealand, New Caledonia. They've lost here in Dunedin. And the matches on Tuesday count for nothing. Well, a lot of relief there around the All White camp at this minute. And I bet in the middle as well, Strubley Jalowski also equally relieved because I'm sure they would have come under a lot of pressure with that decision at the end of the Shane Smeltz's penalty. But he's got Tommy Smith to thank for that. Well, they're delighted, the fans, and you're right, I think, Harry. And the good news is it's not about the officials now. The good news is it's about the players. It's about this action. Chris Killen got New Zealand underway. A powerful hitter from the All Whites midfielder. And that set New Zealand on their way. But here's the reply in the second half. And it was a very good one. The goal scorer, Cesar Lolohaya. And New Caledonia pressed. And they thought they were in this game. They were in this game. And then Tommy Smith, the Ipswich Town defender. What a header from Tommy Smith. And what a moment. The celebration, the delight, and why not? Why not enjoy their good moments? Ricky Herbert applauding the fans as we now go down to Dennis Katsanos, and I'm sure a very proud and perhaps a little relieved Winston Reid. Yeah, thank you very much, Andrew. I think relieved is the right word. Winston, before you were blowing your lips at me like uh, with, a, with a real sigh of relief, they made it tough for you, didn't they? Yeah. I think I think this is by far our poorest game of the competition. Um, we're a little bit 